good out there. Weather's looking kind of good today as well, you know. Finally getting a chance to warm up after a frigid start, but no Cold doubt about this morning, it. Yeah, yeah, autumn is with us. Now, Pat and Leona Basham, they send us photos all the time. Mm -hmm. This is a couple that just kind of travels about, and they like to let us know where they've been. Right. Well, this is the Rio Grande around T or C, and of course, we're catching all the splendor of fall there, but isn't that just a beautiful view, even when you've got some of the cold mornings like we've got now? Those crystal clear skies set the stage for a beautiful afternoon, so thanks, Pat and Leona, for joining in and sending those pictures to us at pics at krqe.com. Now, the weather story is one that includes cool temperatures across the board, although a little milder down to the south, and everybody enjoying the sunshine from T or C to Albuquerque, Santa Fe, all the way up to around Raton, but the problems come at night when this dry air leads to very cold temperatures. I suspect tomorrow morning could be equally as cold, if not even colder than this morning was, but then you go into the afternoon, you got that sunshine right back in place, so those 40s, 50s, and 60s return. Speaking of 50s, that should be about it for the high temperature in the metro today. That's my predicted high. Heading into the 30s by 10 o'clock tonight and way down to 26 degrees to get the day started tomorrow. We kind of had a cold start this morning. 27 was our low, and right now we've only made it back to 42 in Albuquerque. Same story up in Santa Fe, and not much going on cloud-wise. Just a few high, thin clouds here or there. But the bottom line is we are going to stay in this dry flow for the next several days. So while I think today and tomorrow remain rather cool out there, by the time we get into Thursday, the holiday, and Friday, the big shopping day, high pressure is going to let things warm up just a little more for us. And then heading into the weekend, a lot of folks will continue that shopping Saturday and on into Sunday. Looks like a storm's going to come calling. Now, computer models have been a little at odds about what's going to happen with this thing, but it does appear that rain and snow will be arriving by Sunday. Stay tuned for more on that. Meanwhile, I talked about the fact that it is going to be getting just a little bit warmer come Thanksgiving. How do the numbers shape up for us underneath the sunshine? Well, take a good look, and it looks like 50s and 60s across the board. By the way, 56 in Albuquerque, that'll be about 2 degrees above average. Today, we're going to be a little below average out there, and that's the case pretty much so statewide. And while the afternoon temperatures are cool, look at those bitter readings in blue. Overnight tonight, below zero and single digits up in the mountains, teens and 20s just about everywhere else. Meanwhile, the numbers in yellow do look a little better down in the southeast. You guys are a lot cooler than you were yesterday. Yesterday you were in the 70s, today in the 60s, but that beats what's going on in the East Mountains and back towards the metro, where I really think we're going to struggle to make 50 degrees officially in Albuquerque, even with all the sunshine. The thing is, there's not a lot of wind out there, so 45, 50 degrees with sunshine, still not bad this time of the year, but 54 on Thursday in Santa Fe and 57 in Albuquerque, a little bit better than that. And we maintain the nice afternoons and the nice sunshine through the end of the week. And then we welcome that storm over the weekend. We need the moisture. And I really think we could get it this time, Mike. Okay. <laughs> Your thumbs up on that? I'm optimistic. Okay. Thank you, Jason.